We are learning more about the gunman who attacked Fargo police one week ago today. One of those officers, Jake Walleen, was killed on the scene. Two others were critically injured, while a fourth took down the shooter. Today, the North Dakota Attorney General laying out a detailed timeline, walking us through exactly how the ambush happened and how it was planned. Now, our Mary McGuire walks us through the information today. The deceased suspect in the shooting of three Fargo police officers may have been on his way to carry out a much larger attack. He had the intent, he had the commitment, he had the means. One week after the shooting, North Dakota Attorney General Drew Wrigley released more information about the investigation into Muhammad Barakat. When he came upon the fender bender last Friday afternoon, Barakat was armed with multiple weapons, explosives, and grenades, and had spray-painted the back windows of his car. Based on the time and the direction where he was going, he was, uh, he was either likely to be taking a right when he got to Main Avenue, going downtown, taking a left when he got to Main Avenue, and going out to the fairgrounds. Video footage reveals he came upon the crash, circling and casing the scene for about 15 minutes before parking his car and opening fire, killing 23-year-old officer Jake Walleen and critically injuring officers Andrew Dotis, officer Tyler Hawes, and civilian Carly Coswick, who was involved in the initial car accident. Barakat was eventually shot by officer Zach Robinson and later died at the hospital. If it wasn't for Robinson's actions, Wrigley says many more people may have died that day. When he was standing between was not just the horrible events that were unfolding there, but between the horrible events that Mohammed Barakat had planned, had envisioned, planned, and intended, and armed himself for beyond fully. A forensic review of his computer revealed Barakat was searching terms like explosive ammo, kill fast, and mass shooting events. His last search the night before was about the downtown Fargo Street Fair happening that weekend. In the days leading up to there, he's looking for specifically to the region for um, large crowd events in the region. A specific motive for the ambush hasn't been identified, but it's a critical piece of the investigative puzzle. What could possibly motivate someone to ambush young officers in the line of duty? How could murderous chaos and this type of evil arise on a familiar street in Fargo, North Dakota. Body camera footage of the shooting does exist and will be released at some point. A funeral for fallen officer Jake Walleen is planned for this weekend here in Minnesota, and another memorial service for him in Fargo is scheduled for next week. Reporting in the newsroom, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.